Hey everybody, TJ Leasley here, and in this video we're going to be going over the app known as Woobox. Now, Woobox is a great app for Facebook fan pages because it allows you to do a lot of things, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get into a little bit about what they can do and go over some of the free features that they have for you, alright? So what I want to do now is take you over to the pricing page and show you some of these services that they have for free. So here we are in pricing. So what's great about this is this is by far my favorite app to run uh, these particular apps that I'm going to show you. So over here to the left you see uh, the Twitter tab, the Instagram tab, the Pinterest tab, and the YouTube tab. These are great tabs to go ahead and add to your fan page and the reason is it gives your fans and traffic an easy way to connect to your YouTube, your Pinterest, and your Instagram or your Twitter without ever having to leave Facebook. So what I want to do now guys is I'm going to take you over to my fan page and show you the YouTube tab because in this video I'm going to show you how to upload the YouTube tab for free to your particular fan page. Okay, so here we are at Social Media for Business, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and click on the YouTube tab. And as you can see, it pulls up all of my videos that I have uh, currently on YouTube. Now, one of the reasons I like Woobox is because they have this header at the top here, and they have a button that says subscribe on YouTube. So if you click that, they link you right over to your YouTube channel so that if they haven't subscribed, they can go ahead and subscribe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back. All right, so here is what it looks like. Now, some of the other YouTube tabs that we've tried out uh, didn't necessarily display all your videos, right? So what I like about this is it, it does display all the videos from your YouTube channel. What's also great, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, but you can pick which video you want to stay right here. So when someone lands on your tab, you can already pre-select which uh, video is going to show up, okay? Now, another cool feature which I like about this is if you come down here to the thumbnails and, and, and basically run your cursor over, you have the ability to like this particular video just by clicking like here, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Woobox. I'm going to show you how to upload this to your fan page. Okay, so here we are at Woobox, and I am going to click the login button up here. So I did log myself out, so you guys can see what it would uh, take to get logged into Woobox. So what I would do if I were you is I would just come over here to Facebook and have uh, click the Facebook, and it's going to log you in. Now, it has taken me to my particular business account because I have already signed up for them. What's going to happen is when you do click that, Woobox is going to ask for permission to have access to your fan pages. So you want to go ahead and click OK so that they can go ahead and, and create this custom tab for you, all right? Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is there is a spot up here that is showing which fan page you have opened up. And as you can see, if you scroll down, we already have the YouTube tab uploaded to this particular fan page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to a different fan page that I am an admin on and show you how to go through the process. So first thing you want to do is click Change up here, and it pulls up a list of your particular fan pages. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this one to the Timeline Master Course. So I'm going to click that. And uh, as you can see up here now, it says Timeline Master Course, and if you come down to YouTube, there is no YouTube uh, signed up here. So what you want to do is click YouTube. Now it says no YouTube tabs were found, so add a YouTube tab. So you click add a YouTube tab. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and type in your channel name. So ours is ClickMouse USA. So you type that in. And then the next thing is uh, you want to go ahead and put your featured uh, YouTube video URL. So whatever that is, if it's an intro video or one of your most popular videos, whatever you want them to see first, you want to go ahead and put in the URL here. So I'm going to go pull that and come right back. Okay, so I'm back and all I did was go to YouTube. I pulled the URL where that video is hosted at and now I'm just going to paste it in here. Now the next thing you're going to notice is you can do a fan gate, which just basically means that they have to like your fan page before they see this. I am not going to set up a fan gate because I feel uh, you know they could go to my YouTube channel and watch it for free, so uh, I'm not going to put any sort of fan gate there. So what you want to do is you want to save settings. All right, great. So that's saved. Next thing you want to do is come down uh, over here to the left and hit your tab settings. And what you can do here, which is great, is you can go ahead and upload a different custom image for the thumbnail. And uh, let me show you what that is real quick. So if we come back to the fan page, and I'm going to show you, right here is what's known as the thumbnail. You can upload a custom thumbnail, make it look however you want. In this case, I go ahead and use the YouTube classic play button, 
and uh, but you may want it to look like something else. So right here, if you were to change it, you would have to have a image for a perfect fit to be 111 pixels wide by 74 pixels tall. So if you guys want to know how to make a custom image, definitely watch some of our Pixelmator custom image uh, training videos, and that'll teach you exactly how to do that. All right, great. So for this particular instance, we're not going to choose a new file, and uh, we're going to go ahead and leave it this. Now, you can name the tab whatever you want. So if I wanted to say click mouse videos or anything like that, um, you can custom it. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave it YouTube. So then you would come over here and hit Save Settings. Okay, so the next one here is the preview mode. Okay, so let's say if you're doing work and you're building it out and you don't want to publish it yet, you can click preview and you can turn the preview mode on. All right, if you go ahead and click on, what it does is it says only page admins can see tab content, or if you hit off, it says everyone can see tab content. Okay, so I want to keep it as everyone can see tab content, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save settings. All right, and uh, next thing here is uh, if you want to add another YouTube tab, okay, um, you could do that to a, another fan page. Or uh, for some reason, let's say you don't want to uh, have this tab on your fan page anymore, you can go ahead and use the Remove app. All right, guys, so what I want to do now is I'm going to come up here to View Facebook Tab and see if it's uploaded for us. Okay, here it is. Uh, here is the Timeline Master Course, okay? And as you can see, it has uploaded the YouTube tab to our particular fan page. So let me see what this looks like. So I'm going to go back to Timeline Master Course. And as you can see, here is the tab. So what I want to do now is I'm going to change this and move it up to where free training is. And there you go. So now we're going to go ahead and close that. So now Anybody that lands on our Timeline Master Course can go ahead and click on the YouTube and check out all our YouTube videos. All right, great guys. I recommend uh, using the YouTube tab on your particular fan page. It does a couple things. It gets you more views on your YouTube, but also it allows your fans to not have to leave Facebook to catch up on any sort of uh, new videos that you posted. All right, guys, uh, that's it. That's all I have for this particular video. Again, my name is TJ Leasley. I look forward to seeing you in the next training video.